Welcome um, everyone who is joining live and for those who are listening to the recording hopefully later today or whenever you are listening um, to our auspicious mindful moment on our South African election day um, the 29th of May and last week um, yeah we had we didn't have a mindful moment because it was Colin my husband's 50th birthday and um we he wanted to keep it very low key and under wraps and well not yeah under wraps but what I actually then organized as a present with a good friend of his um Jean who lives in in the states was a a video and he put together a whole lot of short videos that people had sent to Colin and some photos um through his life that I had and friends sent in and it was such actually a, such a powerful gift um, because it really was an, a, an incredible reminder of our connections and friendships and experiences through life and and of what really is important at the end of the day and it it was very powerful and supportive for Colin I think it was very emotional and um, our mindful moment today is all going to be a, a lot around connections and and heart connections um, so last week, uh, I think it was Thursday, it was full moon in Sagittarius, um, which is, according to Michelle McLuhan, the astrologer, is a very positive and optimistic um, full moon. It was uh, sort of abundantly blessed. Um, and Sag Sagittarius is the sign of expansion. And it's a fire sign. And there's, But there's also lots of um, fire and, and air energy. So it can also mean that we feel overwhelmed and anxious, but we might also experience some expanded awareness and expanded abundance um, at this time. And that expanded awareness is also what we want to tap into in our, in our mindful moment this morning. And many of you will know actually today's poem. I've used it a few times before. And the first time I actually heard it was in 2020 in um, when I was doing my EMISA, which is the Institute of Mindfulness in South Africa, doing my EMISA, it's a two-year practitioner course. And I had been very much grappling with holding my activist part. I had a very strong activist part that was activated a lot during COVID times um, and all the regulations there and holding it with my mindfulness teacher part, which was all about patience and non-judging and trust and letting go and acceptance. And um, I had drafted this um, letter to the people of South Africa. And um, I was sort of sitting with whether I should be sending it out or how I should do this and sort of wanting to ask my mentors and my teachers their opinion and to kind of get permission to do it. And I tuned into a meditation that we held and Simon who leads the course uh, read this poem. And so it really speaks to me very, very personally every time I, I read it. And it's such a personal reminder. Um, and I actually glanced back at that letter um, recently and it is as relevant today as when I wrote it four years ago and almost more pertinent with the understanding the benefit of hindsight. So um, yeah, so this it's really a reminder of our our power and the reminder of the power of com community. Um, and in this community, in our Mindful Moment community, we focus a lot on creating coherence in our body um, and in our heart space. Um, and, and this can really make a, a difference. Um, so yeah, Ellen, you'll have to tell me, Ellen sent me a message to say, interesting, the moon is in Aquarius today for elections. So. You'll have to tell us at the end the relevance of that. So the electric magnetic field of the heart is more than five times greater than that electromagnetic field of the brain. And we have 40,000 brain neurons, uh, things that neurons that we've understood to be in the brain, we actually have in the heart as well. And so this um, little brain is actually bigger than our brain brain. And this is where so much of our emotional intelligence, our heart-based intelligence um, stems from, as opposed to our rational intelligence, which sits much more, more in our brain. And so the more we can drop into, into our coherence and step into feelings of love and joy and gratitude and connection and peace, 
the more every cell in our bodies becomes coherent, which is amazing for our health. Um, and it helps to expand this electromagnetic field from our heart. And we can actually infect anyone that we come into contact with, with this loving coherence. It's very much a sensed energy. It's very much an unconscious energy, but people can't help but pick it up. And animals are very good at picking it up. You know, horses will read it immediately and they, they will sense someone's um, coherence. And, and that's how, how we how we can calm them, but also how they become anxious and, and um, fidgety when that's someone who doesn't, who's not in, in good coherence is trying to, to ride them or to touch them. And the HeartMath Institute years ago, I'm sure they've done lots of studies like this, but they talked about um, wiring up a little a dog and a little boy um, so that they could read their heart coherence. And they had them in separate rooms and the, both the dog and the boy were quite incoherent with their heart rate variability. And um, they got the little boy to come into the room and do some of this, the breathing and um, heart coherence exercises that they had taught him without touching the dog. He wasn't allowed to touch the dog. And very soon, both the boy's heart rate variability became coherent and so did the, the dogs. And so we really can infect um, our collective with our coherence. Um, and all we have to do is to drop into our heart space and to breathe in and out of our heart space and, um, and to really connect with a feeling of gratitude and of connection. And then this would instantly, it drops our cortisol levels and our stress hormone levels and boosts our immune system. Um, whereas fear and anxiety depletes our, our immune system and boosts our cortisol and our stress hormones. Um, and so when we can create this coherence in our body and in our energy field, we can create a, a, an energy of flow and our, our feminine flow. Um, and this is what we do quite a lot in my feminine wisdom course. And, and life and things can work so much, so much better. And so things are pretty wild out there at the moment in the 3D world. Um, but this is just such a great reminder that this is an inside job and that we we can affect our pockets and our communities. And let's take this energy with us to our voting stations and to it, wherever we might go today. So I invite you just to um, close your eyes or drop your gaze and just to let these words wash over you. You have been telling the people that this is the 11th hour. Now you must go back and tell the people that this is the hour. And there are things to be considered. Where are you living? What are you doing? What are your relationships? Are you in right relation? Where is your water? Know your garden. It is time to speak your truth. Create your community. Be good to each other. And do not look outside yourself for the leader. Then he clasped his hands together, smiled and said, this could be a good time. There is a river flowing now very fast. It is so great and swift that there are those who will be afraid. They will try to hold on to the shore. They will feel they are torn apart and will suffer greatly. Know the river has its destination. The elders say we must let go of the shore, push off into the middle of the river, keep our eyes open and our heads above the water. And I say, see who is in there with you and celebrate. At this time in history, we are to take nothing personally, least of all ourselves. For the moment that we do, our spiritual growth and our journey comes to a halt. The time for the lone wolf is over. Gather yourselves. Banish the word struggle from your attitude and your vocabulary. All that we do now must be done in a sacred manner and in celebration. We are the ones we've been waiting for. So I invite you to take a pause, to let go of the shore and push into the middle, to take this moment by yourself, but to see who is in there with you. as we allow our breaths just to settle. And we sit for the next few minutes 
just being by ourselves, but yet connected to this community and in this moment. And perhaps allowing the settling by listening to the sounds around us. Tuning to distant sounds, sounds in the room, sounds outside. Letting them land. Even listening into the spaces between the sounds. And then sensing in to our touch, our points of connection of our body with the earth with our chair. Noticing where our body connects and is supported. Noticing where our body brushes against the air around us. Where the air lands on our skin. Where our clothes sit. Just being with these sensations and feeling into them. And feeling the sensations of the air at our nose. Feeling the coolness of the air as we breathe in. And following it into our heart space, our lungs, our chest area. So that we find ourselves sitting with our awareness in our heart space area, noticing the rhythm of our breath, breathing in slowly, expanding, pausing, and then breathing out, softening, letting go.
and inviting a sense of gratitude in this moment. Gratitude for our breath, for our bodies. For the ability to vote. And as we sit in this heart breathing, inviting an image of someone that you love. Not to overthink it, just whoever pops into your mind. And inviting a feeling of gratitude for them in your life. And saying gently to yourself, connected, connected. Acknowledging our connections to this person in our life. And you can linger here or invite another image of someone else. Not getting too concerned about who or who to choose, just allowing images to arise in your heart space. Holding that line of connection opening, open, feeling what you feel, connected. And you can choose new people at your own pace. And every time that you do, just Allowing yourself to linger there for a bit, like you savoring a new food and not just churning through an exercise. Keep going. Connecting with loved ones from your past, your present. But then also inviting others who you may not know as well. Perhaps your local security guard. Connected. your local barista or shopkeeper connected. Maybe someone at work or school or who you connect with each day. Noticing the opening of our heart space, the gratitude as we do so.
Perhaps the people on this mindful moment connected. If you'd like, you can expand on it a little. A grandparent or great grandparent that you've heard stories about. Connected. A teacher you've had in your life, perhaps from school days or another teacher who's influenced your life. Connected. Perhaps a writer whose words have meaning for you. And when you go into often to thinking, just bringing it back to an image, feeling what you feel and acknowledging the connection, holding the line open. Until we really can sense into this web of connection that we sit at the center in, of, held by this web, held by these connections, held by this love. Allowing it to expand through our bodies. So that we can take this feeling with us through our day and tap into it as and when. connect with loved ones and with strangers. Then he clasped his hands together, smiled and said, this could be a good time. There's a river flowing now very fast. It is so great and swift that there are those who will be afraid. They will try to hold onto the shore. They'll feel they are torn apart and will suffer greatly. Know the river has its destination. The elders say we must let go of the shore, push off into the middle of the river, keep our eyes open and our heads above the water. And I say, see who is in there with you and celebrate. At this time in history, we are to take nothing personally, least of all ourselves. For the moment that we do, our spiritual growth and journey comes to a halt. The time for the lone wolf is over. Gather yourselves. Banish the word struggle from your attitude and your vocabulary. All that we do must be done in a sacred manner and in celebration. We are the ones we've been waiting for. And so inviting a few last breaths into our heart space. Acknowledging these connections, holding gratitude for them. And when you're ready, gently opening your eyes, moving your body, coming back into the space, acknowledging the connections on this group and in our daily lives. And remembering the power we have to affect the world and our greater world and our immediate circles in such profound ways. Namaste.
Thank you, everyone. It's lovely to, to have you. You're welcome to go move on with your day or to unmute and say something, share your experience, or to put anything in the chat. Love to hear from you. That was really lovely. Thank you. Thanks, Rita. So nice to be connected again. Yes, that's lovely to be connected with mm. us again. Yeah. Gorgeous. Thank you. I was woken this morning by I've I've moved and I decided to get out of Johannesburg and go to Kailani. Okay. So I was woken this morning. Um I'm I'm in the middle of thirty horses, um, which is lovely. I wanted the energy of the horses. Oh, I, I, felt I needed that. And I was woken this morning by a big black pig. Oh wow. Um that was rooting under my window. <laughs> Oh wow! Wow! So it was such. It was so special. Get a little mm. bit to eat, mm. and that that was the beginning of my morning, which was really special. Oh, how lovely! Yeah, mm. the connections with nature is always so profound, and the regulation mm. from nature that we have from absolutely. Yeah, I can't tell you how happy I am here. Oh, that's so wonderful. Really that's beautiful. Great. Mm. 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 Thank you for sharing that, Ruth. It's lovely to be able to picture. Mm. And thanks, Heather. Uh, it's so nice to feel that you feel much more connected from so far away. Yeah, thank you. Thanks, Bashi. Yeah, and please, again, feel free to share this with anyone and invite them to join us. I wish you a very blessed, and I wish South Africa a very blessed voting day. Mm. Thank you all. Um, Did you want to say thank you. We, Yes, thank you. Um, so I mentioned earlier that the moon is in Aquarius. Mm. So, and if you look at the moon calendar, um, the mood of today is light, social and intellectual in Aquarius. Mm -hmm. And it's good for group events, social causes, family gatherings and technology. So I think all oh. very auspicious things for the for an Aquarius moon. It, um, what popped into my mind earlier was we are now in the age of Aquarius and the age of technology and the age of community and um, equality and things. So... Um, I think it's going to be a very interesting election. Mm. Uh, you also mentioned earlier about the moon being Sagittarius. So it's, it's the, the energy of that Sagittarius moon that you were speaking about actually still resonates up until the new moon, which will then be on June the 6th in Gemini. Mm -hmm. And um, Gemini is a time of duality and um, intellectual stuff as well. Brain is an air sign. But what's interesting at the moment is that both Jupiter the planet of expansion and Venus, who is the planet of feminine wisdom and um, also money, are both in Aquarius with the sun. So, um, and the, the Jupiter expands everything that he's in touch with, and the sun, of course, is, is our consciousness. So, it could be a very interesting time um, oh. at the moment and for the next couple of weeks. So, let's hold thumbs. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, right. that's my, my interpretation of the whole astrology of today <laughs> oh, that's lovely really. thank you for sharing that ellen that's lovely to hear thank you yeah for sure mm. Thanks, ellen. it's thank a beautiful you. beautiful session thank you yeah thank you and joe i see you've just joined us now but we are just finishing yes. our session <laughs> finishing yes it starts at seven these um oh, at oh. Seven to seven thirty. so i'll share the recording I thought it was. Oh no, um, at last year it was 7.30 when I was still having to do lifts for Finn, but we've gone back to 7 o'clock. So I hope you'll be able well, to join us again sometime. I'm happy to have seen you all anyway. Yeah, no, it's lovely to see you too, Joe. We must see no, you. Hi, so it's lovely to have no. you. Hi, Ruth. Well, okay. I've been thinking of you with the lovely full moon. So oh, thank you. Yes, no, it's I've been beautiful. watching it. It's really magnificent. Mm, it's such clear skies we've had here. Yeah, we got some beautiful no, moon no, rises as well. It's been incredible. No pollution. Yeah. No. Oh, lovely. Well, have a good day, all of Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank you too, Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye.